Why would ISIS-K target Moscow? A question that sent shockwaves across the globe after the harrowing attack on a concert hall in Russia's capital. It was a scene of unthinkable horror. A music venue transformed into a battlefield. The lives of over 130 people abruptly ended, and nearly 150 others left wounded. The aftermath was a grim testament to the brutality and ruthlessness of ISIS-K, a group previously known for its devastating attack on Kabul's airport in 2021. As the dust settled, a chilling declaration echoed through the international community. ISIS-K had claimed responsibility. Yet, this horrifying turn of events was preceded by warnings of extremist activity near the heart of Russia. Warnings that were, unfortunately, dismissed by the country's leadership. This event marked a chilling escalation in ISIS-K's operations. But what led to this point? At the heart of ISIS-K's motivations lies a thirst for retribution and a commitment to a global jihad mission. Picture this. Russia, deeply entrenched in the Syrian conflict, conducting operations against ISIS and other jihadist groups, significantly impacting ISIS's territorial control and operational capacity. As a result, Russia becomes a prime target for retaliation, a geopolitical retribution of sorts. Now, let's delve into the global jihad mission. It's essential to understand that ISIS-K, faithfully adhering to the broader ISIS ideology, is not solely focused on regional conflicts. Their ambitions are grander. They envision a global caliphate, a world where they challenge the international order and their perceived enemies of Islam. And what better way to project strength and defiance than to attack a major world capital like Moscow? But the attack on Moscow served more purposes than just retribution and ideology. Through this gruesome act, ISIS-K also aimed to wage psychological warfare and undermine security perceptions. The audacity of the strike, right in the heart of Moscow, was a chilling reminder of the group's reach, extending far beyond its traditional sphere of influence in Afghanistan and Pakistan. This was no random act of violence. It was a calculated move designed to instill fear and uncertainty, not just in the Russian population, but in the global community. It was a message that no one, no matter how powerful or secure, is beyond the reach of ISIS-K. Notably, the attack also challenged the perception of Russia's internal security. Despite its formidable military power and extensive security apparatus, the assault revealed vulnerabilities, showcasing the group's ability to penetrate one of the world's most powerful nations. This was not only a brutal act of terror, but a demonstration of ISIS-K's tenacity and resilience. Despite suffering significant territorial losses in the Middle East, the group's ability to orchestrate a high-profile attack on this scale underscored the persistent threat it continues to pose. Yet this attack also carried a strategic message to both supporters and enemies. In this audacious act, ISIS-K communicated a powerful message to its followers and adversaries alike. This attack was not just about causing destruction, it was a statement of resilience, a reaffirmation of commitment to their cause. It was a demonstration that despite the setbacks they faced, they have the capacity to hit high-value targets. Now, let's consider the implications of this strategic messaging. To its followers, this attack says, we're still here, we're still fighting. It's a rallying cry, a call to arms, an attempt to inspire and galvanize. To its adversaries, it sends a different message. Don't underestimate us. It's a stark reminder of their determination to continue the fight, no matter the odds. This attack is a clear demonstration of how ISIS-K leverages violence for strategic messaging. They're not just terrorists, they're communicators, using acts of terror to speak to the world. The language they use is violence and the message they send is defiance. As we grapple with the question, why would ISIS-K target Moscow? It's clear that the answer is multifaceted and deeply rooted in geopolitics, ideology, and strategic messaging. Thank you for watching. We would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to become a part of our community and stay updated.